What's up, everybody? We got a special guest here with us today, uh, Rick Webb Golf over from England. Yeah, Rick's someone I connected with uh, beginning of last summer, and his YouTube page has kind of grown quite a bit since then. He's got a lot going on. He's a really cool guy, so I hope you enjoy the interview. Yeah. All right, so we got a special guest here today. We got Rick Webb. Give us a little intro about yourself, buddy. Okay, so I'm Rick, um, 36, uh, married, five kids. Um, yeah. I, we don't have a TV at home. It's, uh, <laughs> no, so yeah, married, five kids, um, family man, first and foremost. <laughs> so I was uh, military. I was in the British Army for 14 years. Um, long story short, I guess, uh, I didn't look where I was going, and I stood on a, an IED, so a, la a landmine roadside bomb, in Afghanistan in 2012. Uh, subsequently losing my left leg above the knee, uh, broken hip, some uh, twisted pelvis, a uh, little mutton Jeff in my left ear, and mm. a little bit of a sort of like well, nerve damage throughout sort of like my left, my left leg and my lower back, um, and then a little bit of a head injury thrown into good measure. So that was back in 2012. Fast forward to where I am right now. Um, I'm a full-time golfer, full-time content creator. So I play on mm. the Disability European Tour. Yeah. Uh, so it's, called, it's Edgar, E-D-G-A. Um, it's basically, it's, just, it's a European tour for all kinds of disabilities and you get ca categorized into like, amputees and such and you know, whatever else it might be. Yeah. Essentially from that, you can actually catapult yourself to like pro golf. Mm. So that's where I'm at right now is I'm looking to try and get that pro car to, to get out there and play some uh, G4D events, which is essentially DP World Tour. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Um, and just documenting that whole thing. So living that YouTube golfer life, I guess. Dude, yeah. you're a bad... Okay, like I knew... <laughs> like I, I've seen your page, but I didn't know all that shit. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> what the hell? You're a badass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of... I guess like... Obviously, it's obvious that I'm an amputee, right? I don't, I mean, I laugh about it and I, I put videos out about it and stuff, but I guess I haven't really done a video of explaining exactly how that happened. Sure. Um, yeah. So a few people have messaged me and like, like I assume that you're military. And I guess I kind of, as you know, I get a lot of um, people assume I'm ex US army. Uh, I guess mm. just the way I look, I guess. I don't know. It's always like the, the cat, the, the yeah. beard and whatever. So one of my dogs coming in. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I should maybe I should do something like that and, and sort of like an intro to who I am. But yeah, so I was, I was, uh, I was military. I joined when I was 17. Um, Thank you. I was joined when I was 17. I uh, went to Iraq in 2007, uh, fighting a good fight over there for six months, and then Afghanistan in 2012. Um, but yeah, and that's where that's where I kind of I, I don't say it all went wrong because it, it didn't. Uh, actually, like without that happening, I wouldn't be sat where I am right now. You yeah. know, I wouldn't have met wouldn't have met my wife. I wouldn't have the, the children we have, and I wouldn't be. Well, I wouldn't be sorry talking to you guys. I'd be doing something random. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is all was supposed to happen. Yep. Just to end <laughs> up here with us. Like, yep. Yeah, I'm yep. a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. Sat here in front of you two beautiful gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. And your most recent Absolutely. child is only a few months old, right? Just had it. Yeah, she's four months. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow, congrats. Oh, no congrats, shit. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm having I'm having a snip uh, too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean after, I don't I can barely wipe my own ass, so I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Did it with five of them. Holy crap. Five. Yeah, 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 Damn. yeah. So she's four months. So it's um, like with the other kids, I missed a lot of stuff where I was away so much. Sure. You know, um, even when I was discharged, for, so I was medically discharged back in uh, September 2018. After that, um, I kind of floated around for a little bit, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Um, back and forth with hospital, having surgeries and then going off for, for rehab at the military hospital and stuff like that. And then, I don't know if you saw in the news, when the Taliban like took back Afghanistan, it was quite a big mm -hmm, deal, yeah, right? yeah. certainly for the US and the UK. Um, 
And a friend of mine asked, like, could I help him out with some some stuff that was going on over there? So I was like, yeah, sound, you know, I've got nothing else going on. I'll, 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 I'll help you out. And very quickly that escalated to me um, starting up my own intelligence and security company. So then I was working in the Middle East, like Afghanistan, Pakistan, various other countries there. And then when Ukraine like kicked off, 10 days later, I find myself in, in Ukraine, you know, doing some stuff, uh, working alongside like the US, the UK, uh, various sort of elements of the, of the government and the MOD and the DOD and that sort of stuff. And got some really, really good friends over there in the US that um, I've worked with over the years through the military and like the intelligence services and stuff, but also golf. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of time for America, a lot of time for America. That's so I've got crazy. Through, yeah. Yeah, so mad, some mad stuff went on for a long time. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, and like the whole, U- the whole Ukraine thing, like my, my wife said that like, when I got home, that's kind of enough's enough. Like I'm like a moth to a flame for a war zone. You've got to stop being a fucking douchebag and uh, <laughs> do, do, do something that's <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you got five kids and you got a wife, you got you got a life yeah. to worry about. Yeah, I get absolutely, it. Absolutely, mate. Yeah. And yeah. She's absolutely right. So, like, it was uh, uh, about nine months ago, just said, like, I'm out. No more. Like, I, I just, I put, I, well, you're never really out of the military and you're never really out of that sort of, uh, it's not special forces in that, like, the, the community's the same. So, like, I did a lot of stuff with those guys and a lot of stuff with the agencies related to them. So, like, I spent a lot of time in uh, various places in London and that nice sort of stuff. But mm-hmm. so you can't really, like, just leave because somebody's always going to message you or email you saying, oh, can you just hook me up with with this or or with that? But I made the decision to, to stop doing that and just focus full-time on um, trying to be a full-time golf and full-time content content creator, like a million miles away from what I was doing. Yeah. When was it that you started to really kind of get into golf? Like, have you been playing like your whole life or was it kind of after that? Like when, when so did you just when, start when golfing? Start playing golf, did you say? Yeah. Like when did you start? Like, how did you get into it? Like, have you been playing like when you were younger or like? <laughs> so I, I was avid uh, footballer. So as in like mm-hmm. as in soccer. Yeah. Um, for my whole life, uh, I played for the army. I played for like, the regiment, and uh, I played weekend football. I was all about the football, and golf was always sort of there, but I didn't, I didn't really take it seriously. So I might have played like once or twice in a full year, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this happened in Afghanistan, and I was at uh, it's called Headley Court, which is like um, what we read, but the English, the UK version, right? Um, and this guy was around there trying to get these get us injured veterans into into golf and use that as a rehab tool and a, and a way of helping with your recovery. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll give it a go. Go down the driving range and <laughs> smack some balls. And it was like, okay, this is this is fucking cool. I'm, I'm I reckon I can do this. So that would have been like 2015, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, and since then uh, I've. I've been doing it on and off and really like I've had to go back into hospital to have more revision surgery on my leg or yeah or like my my hand that's pretty messed up and then various other bits where I've then had to stop playing for like three to six months at a time just because of not being able to wear my leg or, or anything like that yeah so really solid trying to make something of it I'd say about a year I've been really smashing it really like practicing and doing everything i need to do like with my day will revolve around some form of practice basically yeah, pretty sweet yeah we we're i mean we were watching your clips and stuff obviously like um you know trying to be the professionals that we are uh dude your swing is sick <laughs> yeah. like i it's so impressive the way that like you can like the way that you're able to hit the golf ball like it's just it's it's nuts i'm like you got a better swing than probably we both of us, and I'm like, holy shit! Like this is this is sick. Uh, it's p- pure fluke, man. Pure. Fluke. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, it's it's a grind. It is a grind, but like it's just figuring out how to effectively 
use what what I have available with like the limited mobility. Exactly, yeah. um, Absolutely. I've got a great coach as well. Like shout out Neil Williams. Um I've got a great <laughs> coach that, that helps me with that. And I think it's just having that uh like determination to go and mm -hmm. I like to prove people wrong as well. So like if someone says Hell you can't yeah. do that, I'm like oh, Hell much, yeah. I'll, do I'll do it twice, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah it's uh it's it's just trying to keep that consistent which is obviously even people with two legs is difficult golf is fucking hard right yeah yeah, yeah. But that's why we like it right that's why we love it yeah absolutely so when was it that you really started your youtube channel then because that's that's really grown quite a bit yeah yeah so um it's been there in the background since 2021 um, okay. i want to say like january 21 but i didn't do anything with it for other than just watch stuff yeah um, so i think I want to say May, May last year was when I really thought, right, let's put something up. Let's just mm -hmm. throw some shorts out there or whatever. So yeah, May is when I started that. So coming on a year and we've gotten to, come on, we've gotten to just shy of 1900 subs on there. Wow. And yeah. 760,000 awesome. views, something like that, 755,000 views, something like that. So it's going Hell well. yeah. 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 Well. Cool. And you're working on. I saw you post just the other day. You're working on building a whole simulator now too, right? Yeah. So the guy that is on the channel with me, Jack. Yeah. Uh, he's mm -hmm. my. He's my best friend from the from the army. Um, and I kind of like pulled him in. We always play golf together. I was like, well, I'm doing yeah. this. You're fucking coming with me. Like, <laughs> get on this channel or something. Right. So, <laughs> And I just somehow managed to convince him to to spend like twenty grand on all this kit, and then <laughs> me and him and my dad are building a simulator in his back garden. That's so cool! Awesome! It's gonna so be like literally, literally be from cool. the ground up with this huge yeah. brick building, and then uh, so if there's any uh, any like Foresight Europe, any any simulators out there want to give us free shit, hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> That's expensive. Literally. Hook the man up. Yeah, yeah I, know. I can't even. I think it's what is it? Amazon that you can buy a simulator for like twenty grand, and they'll just like yeah, it'll like deliver to like a shipping. It's crate. so yeah. stupid. We, we were looking at. Uh, so I mean, I did reach out to Foresight Europe, and um, they didn't say no. So I'm um, just waiting for someone <laughs> to come back to me and say like, what sort of support they're going to offer. So I mean, yeah. it could be something as small as like a laser range finder, or they could say, here's a GC quad. And have some fun, lads. But who knows? You're in a, yeah. you're in a good spot though, too. Like, I mean, say in the instance that they send you like a rangefinder or something like that, you utilize it on a channel that's growing so rapidly, and you're dropping it all the time. They pay attention to that stuff, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, okay, you know, you know, this guy's got something. Maybe all right. Here's a simulator. Let's let's make a whole video on it." <laughs> who knows? It, it, mate, yeah. exactly. I mean, I'm I'm here for I'm here for it. There you go. So you've been able to play any golf recently? I don't know how far north you are over there, but like we're still dealing with winter and waiting for spring to get out playing here it's not been great it's been um it's been pretty wet so mm -hmm. since i got back from portugal uh like mid january i haven't been out on the golf course yeah it's been dog shit so i've had to go i mean I, it sounds terrible isn't it i've had to go to the driving range but like oh, it's, um, what a tragedy yeah <laughs> shit yeah so that's all we've been able to do so I've, uh, what are we on the 18th right so Mm -hmm. I've got some good stuff coming up uh, next month before I go in for surgery. I'll, like, I'm going for surgery next, uh, sorry, April. So yeah, I've got some stuff coming up um, and some big courses here, which is good. Um, filming with, so filming in Spain, hopefully as well, in the next couple of weeks and filming. Cool. So with, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, that Matt Travis week golf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So me and Matt have been getting some bits done together. That's so cool. Be good. Yeah, yeah, I'll be good. He's a he's a nice guy, and he's uh he's making some noise in the YouTube golf space. So oh, gonna jump on that, jump on that train while it's there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, absolutely, yeah. So um, it's still terrible weather where you are. Then I take it. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, it's just cold. Not as much uh snow as normal, but yeah. Eh. yeah, just too cold, and the the ground stays wet. We just long. had because uh, we quite literally live in the snowiest place in america uh so we average yeah <laughs> literally uh th i mean this this winter knock on wood has been completely mild but we yeah we're behind i think tj said it we're like earlier 
um, when we were talking about it, we're behind an average snowfall by like six or seven feet. Like wow. it's we we yeah. get. <laughs> Normally, no it's like probably ten feet or so a, a uh, season. A season, and so we're Jeez. way behind, but it's still yeah. It's nice because it's like that spring golf could come earlier. Ideally, things yeah. are drying up. Sometimes we get out and play in March. On some years, other years it's April, but mm -hmm. we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. That's not the fun part of this place. It's it that that part blows. That's that's where you want to be in California, right? Where you can just play golf uh, all the time. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. Um. All right. So we're gonna give you some like rapid fire questions. No right or wrong answers, obviously. <laughs> um. Do you so when you putt? Do you putt with a line on the ball, or do you just sit it, set it, and forget it? Like, what what's your process there? No lines. I, I, no lines. I see it, clean ball, and it, and then miss that putt. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's a TV or movie character that you most relate to? Oh, I'd love to say something like Reacher, just because <laughs> I mad crush him so hard. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think someone like that. I think someone like that. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah, mil very military, um, yeah. but also like family is the most important thing to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Love that. Um, yeah. Are you a blade or mallet putter guy? Mallet. Mallet, yeah. okay. Yeah. The first mallet. The first mallet. Yeah, All right. yeah. I've used both, um, and I seem to fail a little bit less with a mallet. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Do you have a, a go-to golf ball, like any brand or, or model? TaylorMade TP5 all day. Yeah. 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 I will try to not use anything else other than that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What Did you use anything before that? And then, was there like a moment where you were like, oh, I'm going to use this one from now on? So uh, for a while, I was a Shrixen man. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. a, AD333. Mm -hmm. um, and then essentially with... Uh, I got fitted for my irons, which are tailor-made P770s. And yeah, cool. Based on that fit with the spin and that sort of stuff, it was like, you need to be using a TP5 or a TP5X. So from then, that's what I've been using, yeah. Yeah. So it was just made up from there. So you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so if you weren't golfing, if you weren't having this uh, golf influence or life, what else would you be doing with your life or what would you want to be doing? Full-time dad. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, a wholesome yeah, answer uh, to tie it up. Yeah. So having done some mad shit for 20 years, uh, I think oh, I'm only 36, but I feel like I just now take advantage of the fact that I can just be at home with the family, the dogs, mm -hmm. you know, um, there's one here actually. And, <laughs> Wait, yeah, you're 36? So, 36, yeah. Dude, I thought he was like, I thought you were like 30 at most. Really? Oh, well, dude. How about <laughs> Fifty-eight. All right, got it. it makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, another rapid-fire question because we're. I'm thinking about it. Uh, who's your Who's your football team? Tottenham Hotspur. Okay. Yeah. So actually, I'm I'm a Man U fan. I have been for like yeah. 15 years. I mean, dog shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But actually, you're yeah. playing right now. You're playing right now. Yeah. I'll tell you what the score is. Hold on. It's uh, you are about to win two one. Yep, cool. Love to see it. Yeah, we're um, we're in uh, so I mean up here really we uh, I I wish I wish America cared more about you know soccer. I I like it's getting better, it is, but it is yeah. We're not as bad as like we used to be, but we're the only, I feel like we're genuinely the only country in the world that just everybody else that's, it's the universal sport, right? Like that's, that's footy is the yeah, game. Yeah. And we're the only ones we're like, nah, um, we, we, we do shooty hoops or we, or we, <laughs> we play, we play <laughs> stick ball. Like I can't, yeah. ah, you know, what are NFL here though, right? It's, um, it's getting bigger gradually. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know your thoughts. Cause I'm, I don't really watch too much football, like as in soccer, but I've been getting into it a bit more. Obviously, there's the, the show Welcome to Wrexham with mm -hmm. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney that bought uh, Wrexham. What, what's like the just the general thought of other people outside of Wales of that, like the celebrities buying into a team like that? 
Yeah, so if we're talking about the Wrexham thing, I think that's incredible. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, so I've watched most of the series on Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can see that those two guys, particularly, like they, they genuinely believe what right. it is they're doing, right? Yeah. So if it's something like that, I'm all for it. I really am. Like to bring a team up and like give the people in that town. There's opportunities that yeah. come from it. You know, it grows. Everyone else grows with it. I think it's brilliant. And then the flip side is you've got someone that might go into it as like to evade some tax or something. You know, right? Like, yeah, right, exactly. right. It, it is what it is. Like if you're going to inject money for for the good of the club and its fans and like the town and stuff, then great. If you just want to throw some money out of it to to pull out later because you're like trying to dodge the tax man or something like that, then you know, yeah, maybe right. you're a bit of a douche. It's, it's cool watching it because I feel like Wrexham is kind of similar. Like we're in Syracuse, New York, which is a smaller city, but it's like it things here just kind of like revolve around the university and how their athletics do. Mm-hmm. And it's seeing yeah. the same type of thing with Wrexham where it's it's just similar with seeing that community engagement in mm-hmm. whatever sport it may be and their ath- athletic success. Yeah. But yep. Um, no, I think that, yeah, definitely. And like I say, I, I think... I think it's good for the community, right? It's, I mean, if yeah. you can yeah. help everybody else involved, then game on. I, I'm I'm subscribed to uh, Ben Foster's YouTube page. So like when cool. he when he played for when he played for them, I was like, wait, what the hell? This yeah. is like the greatest crossover <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, so you might you, if you subscribe to his, then uh, I'm assuming you subscribe to Choose and Ands, right? Of course. Come on, <laughs> man. No, I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Like, as you've heard it, heard it here first, I haven't said it to anywhere else yet, but me and Jimmy Bullard are in talks to have something going on. Like soccer AM? Jimmy, Bullshit. Jimmy, Jimmy beautiful hair Bullard. <laughs> He's, uh, so just Bro! Christmas time, he sent me a voice note asking me to basically get it on and let's have a bash, so... Been a little bit of back and forth trying to sort because he's because he's gone in basically in the golf world in like the last year or even less than that because yeah um yeah. yeah he hasn't been doing it that I mean he's been playing but he's just finally like starting to put stuff out yeah so he was occasionally he'd dip in and out of yeah, yeah. And, hands, and then now he's like he's a he's an integral part of it and they base the videos around him playing someone don't they so a little bit of back and forth with. with tubes and a little bit of back and forth with jimmy nothing's set in stone and i mean i'm not about to be like going on their channel or anything like that hopefully sure. down the line why not but i think first off get uh get a match against jimmy is what we've yeah. been talking about yeah and then hopefully if all goes well that will get something going from there because that would be huge yeah he's a he's a hilarious human being that dude yeah. just, oh my god and he's uh, yeah, a- I- I've got voice notes on here, him taking the piss out of my leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, you probably, yeah, you probably have that like morbid <laughs> sense of humor too. So that's... yeah, man, I'm, I'm army. Uh... Yeah. I was going to say you have to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have to, I do. He's Thanks. a little bit more reserved, but he'll say some out of pocket shit where yeah. I'm just like, yeah, yeah that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah, I know you were saying before you got your, your next surgery is coming up in April. And then I think you yeah. said in the video the other day, you're down like probably six to eight weeks. But what what is like, like kind of your goal for the season after that once you get back to to golfing and the uh, yeah, so season starts? I think from from surgery on the 11th of April, I'm hoping that I can be back on my leg by the like end of June, which means mm-hmm. I still have a good chunk of the summer to be getting as much as yeah. possible. Um, so I was hoping to qualify for... The Simpson Cup. I don't know if you've heard about this. So that's no. like the disabled veterans version of the Ryder Cup. So it's UK okay, against cool. US. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's 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 at, like if you if you have a look on Instagram, just put the Simpson Cup. It's it's actually huge. Like it's it's a lot bigger than than like what people might think it is. Yeah. Um, so if basically, I'm part of the. Uh, on course foundation which is you got on course foundation us and uk the guy mm. that founded it john simpson he was a golf uh, manager so he actually signed Seve. he signed faldo this this dude's like big time i, yeah. met, arnold, I met arnold palmer at bay hill like wow. through him mm. oh shit <laughs> that was a fucking cool day i've got a video yeah, that. somewhere <laughs> after six. um so basically, like they host this event every year. So it's our version of the Ryder Cup. And this year it's actually in 
New York. Oh, yeah. we're about to New Wait, York. Wait, we're in New York. Uh, hold on. Let me find it. <laughs> I will find the... Uh, Dude. ...where the course is. So that's October. It... Okay. Um, I wonder if it's on like that... Beth Page way or something. Yeah, because we're we're like so we're, we're central New York, so we can get pretty much anywhere. Yeah, in a we're couple like hours. we're like <clears throat> towards like more towards Canada, but like we're we're in like TJ said, we're in central New York, so like everything around us, we can pretty much get to within a couple hours. Exactly. It's not. Um, I mean, it's a lot closer for you to get than it is me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> oh man, where is it? I'll find it. I'll find it. Um, so like we've got, I've got the qualifiers coming up, and um, the trouble is, I don't think I'm going to be on my leg before I need to do doing these qualifiers. That's the problem. Mm, gotcha. Uh, where are we? Simpson Cup. Come on, where is it? Uh, I'll find it and I'll send it to you. Yeah, you're fine. I can't remember where it is. <laughs> you're fine. We can talk <laughs> about it after too. That's cool. That's that's dude. That's well. I mean, if all else. You know, if everything goes well and you get and you make it, let us know because that's, dude, we'll go. I mean, we'll be the only Americans che- cheering for a European <laughs> yeah, team. Yeah, they'll be like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? How, how long you last there? It's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> most Americans are, I said most, are, they're not too ruthless with that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, that, that would be like the main goal. But um, cool. That. I would be away, and I think if I remember in October that we would fly back home on the on my daughter's first birthday. Oh, gotcha! So like, wow. if, if I qualify, then we we all go, mm-hmm. like the whole family go. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And we'll, we'll we'll make a thing of it. Yeah, the whole family go, and then that way, like, because as much as I want to play in the Simpson Cup, and it's such a big deal to to qualify for it and be, you know, essentially our Ryder Cup. Yeah. I'm not willing to miss my daughter's first birthday for it. Hell no. Good yeah. for you. you know, you know, like golf, golf is huge to me and it is at the like epicenter of who I am now and like recovery and mental health and, and all of that. But ultimately like it doesn't come before my family. So Yeah. Um for sure. That would come that. yeah, she'd she'd come first, man. I've 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 got to right some wrongs from being away so often with the army over the years that I've missed. Cool. No, good yeah. for you, man. That's awesome. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time to come on and, and talk well, with us. For, thank you for having me on. It's been mega. Yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Real quick, just tell everyone where they can find you on socials and on YouTube and all that stuff so they can go find more oh, content yeah, so, from you. Uh, Rick Webb Golf uh, across, the, across Insta, Facebook, TikTok. And then we've just rebranded our YouTube channel from Rick Webb Golf to RJ Golf. Gotcha. RJ Golf. Okay. So RJ Golf, cool. Rick Webb Golf. If you just put Rick Webb in, I should come up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just underneath awesome. Rick Shields. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time and, uh, you know, best of luck getting in the Simpson Thanks, Cup. Looking... Hell yeah, man. Thanks yeah. for taking the piss out of us. See? I got it. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for me on, boys. Of course, yeah, man. Of course. Hey, take care. So that was cool having Rick Webb on. Hell yeah. Hopefully, you know, best of luck to him qualifying for the Simpson Cup. Yeah. Hopefully everything's all good here. Follow up his surgery and then. Uh, look it up. It's going to be in Shinnecock Hills down in Long Island. So hopefully we can get down there and, and yeah. meet him if he gets over here with his family. And yeah, that'd be great. Get down there, at least meet the family, watch him play, root for a team that's, you know, visiting. But yeah, I'd do it. That's great. Yeah, that was going to be our best chance to to kind of collaborate with him. He's yeah. like the furthest away that we've collaborated with being from England. But uh, mm-hmm. hopefully we get here uh Get over here to the States and we can do something. Yeah. So make sure you go follow his page, drop him a like, uh, follow, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, he was telling us a lot that he's got some big things happening. So make sure that you keep an eye on that. So, um, yeah, just thanks again, man. Cool. <laughs> thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.